What's up, people? We are back with more WAS, the Hourglass of Lepidoptera. In the previous video, we survived that attack from the ginormous sandworm, which I didn't think would be that freaking huge, you know? Because sandworm... With worm, I generally think of something tiny or small or just, you know, very long and thin. But not a huge freaking... that It looked like one of those flesh-eating plants or something, you know? But... We've also encountered another seemingly bad ending throughout that, um, throughout um, when we were in the dune. So, yeah, uh, it seems that our destiny is just laid out before us, and we just kind of have to follow it and do what the mysterious man wants us to do. So yeah, let us continue. I think we are away from the sandworm, although I'm not 100 percent sure. So he should still, or uh, he could still be after us. We don't know. So we kept on running for a while. Lin and I ran as fast as we could, forgetting about direction or time. By the time I feel like the sandworm has lost us, the sun is beginning to set. Oh, it's so beautiful. It's so beautiful. That's actually, I mean, that's one of the most gorgeous sights in the world, right? Just seeing the sun go down, sunset. It's so precious. <sighs> I think it lost us. <sighs> Seems like it. I can't sense that bastard nearby anymore. Ah, oh, I thought I was a goner. Oh, same here. I don't want to see that face again. Me too. I won't even think about catching it again. So, where are we now? I see an ocean here. I can see the sea in the distance. Did we make it to the beach? Have we really run that far? From here? I don't do wake back home, but how about we take a little break? Okay, sure. Ah, just sitting next to each other. At Lin's suggestion, I sit down on the sand. Phew. So this is the sea. It's bigger than I thought. Huh? Haven't you been to the seaside before? I've read about it. But this is my first time seeing it with my own eyes. The sea goes on for miles. I can smell the scent of the tide and hear the sound of the waves. I realize now that the information we gain from books is rather limited. You know, the sea is so vast, it makes you feel like a fool for fretting over trivialities. Yeah, you're right. As I watch the sea, I think about what Lin just said. It makes me stupid for thinking over what I really am. And... I've been running. But I have to face it. I haven't seen Rosary in person since our argument. Obviously, I haven't even gone to the church since then. But I think Rosary is still angry at me. It's all my fault for saying such things to her. While I stayed with Lin, I realized why Rosary was angry at me. It wasn't about me skipping my work at the church. It was when I told her I didn't belong there. I think that's what made her sad, or made her sad rather. Ah, how foolish I am. Even though it was a response in kind, it was a horrible thing to say to Rosary, who taken me in and treated me like family. Uh, without Rosary, we, we wouldn't be in this situation right now. Like, we owe everything to her. I wish I could bury my head in shame and regret. Oh, your face. Seems like you're ready. But you're still thinking over how to apologize to Rosary, aren't you? Lin says my thoughts aloud. Oh no, did you read my mind? I can't let my guard down. I didn't. Your thoughts are so easy to guess. Just from the look on your face, no one needs uh, no need to read yours. Yikes, are my thoughts that easy to guess? They're written all over your face, almost literally. But I kinda like how simple you are. Lin says with a giggle. It's the first time I've ever seen Lin smile like that. She looks beautiful with that smile. I lose myself in her smile. My heart begins to beat faster and I feel my face grow warm. Hmm? What's wrong? You're turning all red. Drink something. Ah, uh, thanks. 
As I reach to take a bottle from Lin, our fingers touch. Oh no. It's always that moment in TV series or movies or whatever where the, the hands touch and then it only makes the situation worse. That makes me blush more. Exactly. What's going on with me? What is happening? Well, you know where the classic where it's like they're actually shocked that the fingers touch and then the bottle they just drop it. They're like don't care about the bottle. Oh my god, we just touched hands. I don't know what kind of feelings I'm currently having. In all my 16 years of life, I've never felt this way. As for Rosary, you don't have to worry too much. She'll forgive you if you apologize from the heart, just like you do with me. Is... is it alright? I can promise you that. Rosary is tolerant. It'll be alright, just like Lin says. I don't know why. But I can feel it. And now, it should be about time. Huh? Time for what? Look at the sea, boy. You're about to see something awesome. Something awesome? I stare at the sea as she tells me to. Whoa. What, what was that? It's great. It's so awesome, Lin. What I saw is so great. That was all I could say. It looked like the sun was sinking into the sea. Well, it's more spectacular than I can put into words. What did I tell you? Awesome, isn't it? Kinda makes you speechless, huh? You don't get much chance to see it. Just a few minutes every day. Preserve that in your memory. Yeah. My eyes are fixed to the side of the sun sinking into the sea. I'm trying to imprint the scene into the depths of my heart. I will never forget what happened today and what I saw today. Okay, we're done watching. So, shall we head home? I'd love to stay, but we should return. She did say that it gets dangerously cold at night, so we should leave before we freeze to death. Given the look on his face, he probably still believes what I told him earlier. Yeah, you'll freeze to death if we stay here too long. <laughs> I don't want that to happen. I grab Lin's hand tightly. <laughs> hey, what are you doing? We did that on the way here, to avoid getting lost. <sighs> I can't do such stupid things. You know I don't babysit you like that. Lin shakes my hand off and starts to walk away. Wait for me, Lin! Why are you walking away? Don't leave me! I can't be lost alone right now. But, but hey, Lin grabbed my hand first, and we held hands together on the way. I run after Lin in a hurry. Ah, he held my hand all of a sudden. He should have asked me before doing so. Hey, your face looks red. Do you have a heat stroke? No, I'm fine, you idiot. Uh-huh, that's good then. I think the setting sun made her face look red. Now I realize that this is the first time I've gone on a trip with Lin. I'd like to travel with her again. Oh my god. His love is in the air tonight, baby. Meanwhile, there's a suspicious shape watching over Tadayoshi and Lin. Oh yeah. It's the man in the black suit, which looks so out of place. <laughs> How unsophisticated that was. Just watching them makes my skin crawl. She was the one who attracted to him, or who was attracted to him, as I expected. And he evaded the first trial. Worst case scenario, that woman would have died there. The man keeps on muttering. And on this debate, they should start acting. The man takes a newspaper out of his coat, then scans through it. <laughs> it's going well. Still going as I planned. Now I have to wait for him to deal with the next one in the way I wish. The man crumples the newspaper into a ball and throws it away. Don't disappoint me, Tadayoshi Kurokawa. <laughs> Okay, so that newspaper must, 
does this ma does this guy just come from the future or something? Cause where is it from? Isn't isn't it from a particular t movie or TV show where like, wasn't there? I remember a particular TV show where there was a guy. This is probably really old, and I I think I actually watched it, or my mom used to watch it a lot. But I think it's really old. Where like this guy with a dog, and he would get newspapers from the future, and he would you know he would uh, then try to prevent all the bad stuff that he read in the newspapers from the future. He would prevent them from happening. And that's sort of something that I'm getting, the similar vibe from the newspaper thing that I'm getting. Like, he knows something from the future because he read it and like, yes, this is all good, this is all according to plan. And then he threw it away, meaning like, the place plan succeeded or what has happened in the newspapers actually happened here as well or something along those lines. I don't know, but I feel like that newspaper might mean something more than just being a regular newspaper. I'm taking a walk after dark because I couldn't sleep. Why did I get so upset over that? What's happening to me? I think over things that happened today. People mistook Tata Yoshi and I for a married couple. My face almost burned with shame when he grabbed my hand. Ah, uh, ah! Uh. Just remembering it makes me shout aloud. I never had such feelings before. What's really going on with me? <sighs> I feel a bit calmer after shouting. The wind of early summer feels nice on my skin. It's sweltering hot during the daytime, but at night it's much cooler. Summer is my favorite season here. Huh? The smell? Could it be? The wind delivers a stinging smell to me. A smell I've encountered many times in this place. The smell of blood. But... Damn. I've got a bad feeling about this. I try to find out the source of the bloody smell. Usually I don't care much about it, as fighting is kind of an uh, ordinary occurrence here. But it sent a chill up my spine this time, giving me the sense that something bad was going to happen. What the... Oh my... At this time of night, the stalls are always crowded with people drinking. But it's silent. The atmosphere is cold and silent enough to slice right through a person. All I see here are destroyed stalls, food and drink scattered everywhere. And people bleeding out on the ground. Hey, are you okay? Who did this to you? Ugh. I get close to a man and shake him for a response, but he doesn't answer. I listen for a heartbeat to see if he's still alive. I can hear it. He's badly wounded, but still alive. Damn, who did this? It doesn't look like the work of a mugger. I scan the surrounding area for more clues. Women are also injured, but they don't seem to have been raped by the attacker. So this is a random attack on people? Who did it? And for what reason? I assume it was done by a psychopath who enjoys hurting people. Russell, Russell, Russell. Who's there? I grab a stone and throw it in the direction of the noise. What? What the hell? Oh my god, is this like a freaking assassin's guild or something? A masked person appears out of the shadows. I remember the person's movement and atmosphere. It can't be. They are no longer. I can't believe it. The people I just thought of are long gone. I'm sure of it. The masked person notices me as I'm thinking about that. The person begins to run. I won't let you get away. I try to chase them, but they're faster than me. Damn. I know I'm a good runner. But their speed is unbelievable. Who the hell are they? Ah, oh, damn. Did I lose them? I no longer feel the masked person's presence or anyone's. It's silent now. If they're real and they're here, it's gonna be a big mess. It reminds me of the kidnapping incidents Rosary mentioned. I have no idea why they are taking children. 
The presence of the masked person fits with the mass abductions, and it's getting worse and worse. I'm not sure if that masked person is real, but I've got a bad feeling about this. Ah, <sighs> got no other choice. I shouldn't be keeping Tanayoshi at my place while this is going on. The slums would be a perfect hiding place for this mystery person. For his safety, I should take him back to the church. What the crap? So apparently these masked... It, it is a group or something that seemingly has vanished a long time ago, or at least that's what Lin thought, meaning she sort of knows about them, but yeah, she didn't think they still existed, and then she sees them and is like, what? How can they still be here? Or something along those lines, so a revival of, the, of that group or whatever, I don't know, but apparently they are behind all the sort of trouble that's going on in this area. I was in a deep sleep. I'm so tired from the things I experienced yesterday. I traveled to an unknown place with Lin. I was attacked by a sandworm. Oh, the butterfly is back. Huh? The blue butterfly. Why is it here? The blue butterfly I saw yesterday appears in front of me again. The butterfly slowly approaches me. As the butterfly gets close to me, visions stream into my head. Wh what? Lin? Don't tell me that's Lin, please no. Wh where am I? Am I dreaming? It's dark. I don't know where I am. The wet, musty smell is too real for a dream. Being surrounded by a white fog, I can't grasp the situation clearly. What's the smell? I can smell something rusty too. The white fog fades. Oh my! Ugh. I'm too surprised by what I've just seen to say anything. The person with the long black hair and red jacket and slender build, all of which I'm familiar with. She lies dead on the ground blood painting her entire body. Lin! It can't be! Lin! I rush towards Lin, grab her shoulders, and shake her roughly. What's going on? I can't believe it! What did she do to deserve this? She feels so cold to the touch. Blood covered her clothes. She doesn't speak or react to me. Her body doesn't react to my shaking. It's telling me a cruel story. She's dead. Say something. Please. Say something. I don't want to give up on you. I'm losing control of my mind. <laughs> what, dude? What? Your tits are bigger than they look. Come on. I'm making fun of you to see if you'll wake up. Why don't you react? Why don't you get angry at me? Why don't you kick me like you always do? Lin! 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 She doesn't respond. No matter what I do, I can't take it anymore. <laughs> what? Lin is dead? <sighs> I spring out of my futon with a scream. Was that... a dream? I think I just had a nightmare. But it felt too realistic for a dream. My whole body is wet with my own sweat. Wait, where is Lin? I jump to my feet and go look for her. There's only a futon placed untidily in Lin's, in Lin's sleeping place. And I'm alone here. Lin, where are you? Where did you go? I'm freaking out because Lin isn't here. But that's understandable, considering I had a nightmare about her. I mean, I'm not entirely sure that it is just a nightmare, because the butterfly was involved again, right? And the butterfly, the, t the two occurrences that we've had with the butterfly, it was always some sort of vision of the future. So that, I think, is a possibility that could happen in the future, that Lin is going to die. So holy crap, please don't let that be the case, because I can't lose Lin.
I mean, we, we're sort of, I mean, yeah, we are dependent on, we were dependent on Rosary a lot too, but now we're actually very dependent on Lin. And if Lin dies, we have to go back to the church, which obviously isn't a bad thing, but we don't want Lin to die. Not here. Lin! Where are you? Lin! I go outside. Nobody is around. And it's quieter than usual. It's unusually silent. Damn. What's going on? My heart begins to beat harder. I feel like something bad is happening. I'm hoping it's just a gut reaction. But my gut reactions are always right if they're bad. Sh she should be alright. I'm sure sh Lin is just getting some fresh air. I think she should be fine. If I don't tell myself that, I'll end up going insane. Now, what should I do? If I go out and look for her, there's a chance that she'll return while I'm out. But it's uncomfortable for me to stay here at the moment. How frustrating. There's nothing I can do. I'm getting more frustrated as time passes. I hear some footsteps coming from somewhere. Oh, could it be? I run in the direction of the footsteps. I see Lin there. Oh, thank God. What's with you, huh? You look so panicked. <sighs> oh, oh. I, I'm just glad you're alright. As I see Lin, I sit down on the ground in relief. Uh, hey, are you okay? Did someone hit you? Lin runs towards me with a concerned expression. N nothing like that happened. I just had a bad dream. I'm not going to tell her the details. No matter how realistic it felt for me, it was just a dream. Even if it was a bad one, nobody would want to hear that. Oh, okay. Lin gives a sigh of relief. But she's not acting like her usual self. She seems to be in a hurry. But hey, what happened to you? You seem to be in a hurry. Lin shuts her mouth, then looks at my face carefully. And she starts to talk, slowly. Tadayoshi, leave this place and return to the church, now! Huh? I mean, I was planning to visit the church tomorrow, but why now? I am ready to apologize to Rosary, as Lin insists she'll forgive me. So I think it's best to act tomorrow, but... Shut up and do as I say! Go to the church, now! That's the best you can do! She raises her voice which is unusual for her. Why are you telling me to go back all of a sudden? Hey, is there some kind of incident going on here? Even if she tells me to, I can't go back to the church without a good reason. If there's something going on, that's all the more reason I can't go back to the church. Yes, as you guessed, there's an incident going on, and it's not the usual stuff you see here. So? There's a big incident going on right now? Then I can't turn my back and return to the church. If Lin's this desperate, it must be pretty big. Knowing that, there is no reason for me to step back. I can't leave her in danger. I think you'll have to see it to believe it. Come on, I'll show you a part of it. When you see that, you'll understand why I want you to return. Lin turns around and starts to walk. I think she wants me to follow. <sighs> what I see is beyond my imagination. The stench of blood makes me want to vomit. This place used to be crowded with stalls and people, but now it looks like an old battlefield. <sighs> hey, are they? Don't worry, they're badly wounded, but nobody's dead. Lin says in a cold tone. Ugh! That meatbag in a jumpsuit who keeps stalking me is lying on the floor, moaning. That could have a different meaning though for that guy. His iconic jumpsuit is torn and painted red with his own blood. Hey, I heard that meatbag is pretty strong. Why is he hurt so bad? I remember Lin telling me he's quite strong putting his personality aside. Yeah, he's almost a match for me in this place. 
He's so strong that I can't beat him without my tonfas. A man that tough got beaten without even scratching his opponent. Do you know what this means? Without a scratch? Have you seen the attacker? Got a glimpse of them. The atmosphere alone tells me they're dangerous. Sweat drips from Lin's cheek. This tells me she's not joking about the attacker, but I won't take it. I run to the un injured people to administer treatment. Gotta do it before it's too late. You must go back to the church, boy. I'll treat them on my own after I've taken you to the church. But I can't turn my back on them. I prop up a wo wounded woman. This heavily made up woman treated my wounds after I sparred with Lin. I've never tried them, but that guy over there taught me some dirty fighting tricks. And that meatbag who hit me, he cared for me and protected me more than anyone else in this place. The owner of this stall gave me sweets when I was hungry. Everyone knows food is uh, expensive, but he still did that. Anger rises from the depths of my heart. I'm clenching my fist so hard, it's about to bleed. I don't know their names at all, and I know they've been doing very bad things, but I don't hate them at all. I shout in a teary tone. Hey, tell me, Lin, tell me anything about the person that attacked them. I can't. Why? Why can't you tell me? She refuses to answer my question. I beg you, please, I can't forgive whoever did this. I bow my head to Lin, trying to beg for an answer. I don't. Huh? I don't want you to get involved in this! Lin shouts at me, her eyes wide open. Her tone is so forceful, it shocks me. I can't forgive whoever did such a thing on my turf too. You know how I feel. So, you'll just get in my way if you come with me. Have you ever won a round with me when we sparred? Have you ever even scratched me? Ugh, then no. During my training with Lin, I've never landed a hit on her. Listen, the perp should be more skilled than I, so I won't be able to beat them while protecting you. Boy, you're special to me, so I don't want to see you hurt. Oh my god, what are we gonna do? <sighs> so the choices are don't follow Lin if I'll be a bother to her or fight together with Lin. This is a really tough choice that I'll have to think over. I already sort of know what I want to do here. I mean, Lin, Lin is right in everything what she's saying. So I'm guessing that will only be in the way if we are fighting with her. And I mean, if a, mer a person with a mask is able to do that to all of these strong people in the slums without even himself getting a scratch on him, then yeah, that person's got to be pretty dang strong. And from what Lin is sort of telling, that person is not alone. So. I personally think the best course of action is to take Don't Follow Lin if it'll be a bother to her, but we're gonna save that for the next video. I'm sorry guys to end you on a cliffhanger but like this, but I gotta end the video here, so thank you very much for watching. Please like and subscribe for more, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace!